West European airspace is one of the densest and most complex in the world. During a flight covering 1,500 kilometers or 800 nautical miles, a pilot can be in contact with approximately 20 control sectors with just as many frequency changes. Air France 471 with the Parisian 129005. Good morning. Air traffic in Europe is experiencing strong growth. In 2016, France was the first to have gone beyond the threshold of 3 million controlled flights in a year. In 2017, French air navigation services controlled, for the first time in their history, more than 11,000 flights in a day, an absolute one-day record in Europe. With this increased traffic density, congestion and vocal communications between pilots and controllers is a real issue for flight safety, and thus becomes a factor limiting capacity. To improve the performance of the European Single Sky, the SESAR technological program is carrying out ground-air data exchanges through numerical links, the foundation for future revolutions in the air traffic management system. With CPDLC Datalink, pilots and air traffic controllers can exchange written, pre-formatted messages. CPDLC constitutes a supplementary means of communication in non-time-critical situations. In mainland France, since the 3rd of May 2016, DSNA has been offering three CPDLC services in its upper airspace above FL-195, 6,000 meters, to all aircraft equipped with the European standard called ATN-VDL Mode 2. These three services that constitute initial operating capabilities are connection to Datalink, Datalink initiation capability, frequency transfer to the next control sector, ATC communications management, Verification of stuck mic, ATC microphone check. This first stage allows for accompanying airline companies in the progressive equipping of their fleets. In this regard, they can obtain European co-financing. Today, for CPDLC Datalink, it is necessary to improve infrastructure on the ground and to ensure that it is implemented in a harmonious manner on the European level. For that, projects associating air navigation service providers, including DSNA, Air ground communication operators and airline companies have been launched. Nous avons déjà une fabilité opérationnelle élevée, plus de 95% des transferts de fréquences aboutissent. Quant à la formation, un MOC numérique protégé de communication permet de garantir l'authenticité des interlocuteurs et du contenu de l'information. Since 2017, approximately 7% of flights controlled each day in France use CPDLC Datalink for frequency transfer instructions. Operators truly appreciate the benefits of this new technology. Le CPDLC automatise une tâche élémentaire. Avec le transfert de fréquences par data link, on libère de la charge mentale et du temps de fréquence pour les instructions de contrôle. Les informations échangées sous forme de données numériques sont plus sûres et évitent les erreurs de compréhension. CPDLC is being put into place progressively within each European ANSP. For its part, DSNA endeavors to implement the second stage of this major technical program, the delivery of ATC clearances by CPDLC, and its upper airspace will then be able to be declared full operating capabilities. With Datalink frequency transfers, communication is more efficient and makes the French air traffic management system safer and better performing. Reduction in the number of oral comprehension mistakes and in the number of messages repeated fewer situations where the frequency is overloaded, the transfer of frequency made at the best time. Air traffic controllers concentrated on priority tasks related to traffic separation. Bonjour, direct uh, Dissac, je vous rappelle. In French airspace above FL195, you can benefit from CP DLC data link. Pilots, log on.